Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys another loop video. This is a loop video that I've wanted to make for a while now, and I finally got around to making it. So we are going to be doing loot from 1000 Revenants. Now, before I start this video, I just want to say that Revenants, they are located in the wilderness, so it is a dangerous creature to kill, um, but they do have some really rewarding drops. Revenants are most famous for their ancient warriors' equipment, including Vesta's equipment, Stasius, Morgan's, and Azuriel's equipment. They also drop Corrupt Dragon equipment, they drop ancient artifacts, and then, of course, the Wilderness Shared Loot tab. They also do drop Brawling Gloves, which is a really rare drop. Um, hopefully, we end up getting one of those. As you saw, it was 1 in 85,000 to get one of them. So, as you can see, the drop rates, they are pretty crazy on most of these items. So, it is just going to be really fun seeing which items we end up getting. And also, how much money I will make from this. As you saw, some items value just a few thousand coins. And then, some are even up to a few mil. The best drop being the Stasius Warhammer, valued at nearly 70 mil. So, we're going to see what kind of drops we can get throughout this video. So just before I start again, I want to show you guys my setup. So I am using a Revenant Bane two-hand weapon, which is valued at around 3 mil. I'm also using Elder Rune for the helmet slot, also the leg slot, and the boot slot. For the body, I am using the Ghost Hunter body because you do get a damage bonus when using the Ghost Hunter equipment. I do have a few more pieces of equipment for this. But I just want to be cautious since it is in the wilderness. I don't want to lose it because it is pretty hard to get. And I am also using the Forinthi bracelet, which is really useful when killing revenants. So as you can see, I am starting this video with 17 revenant kills. So by the time we end it, we are going to have 1,017 kills. I am also going to be using my revenant drop enhancer, which I received throughout some slayer tasks this lasts for 1000 kills so that's going to be a way of tracking the kills as well and what the revenant drop enhancer does it gives you basically a 10 percent bonus on the unique items that you can get from revenants also it is going to stack with my five percent uh, increased chance just from completing the elite wilderness achievements so i do have both of those so we are going to be increasing our luck by a total of 15 percent while killing these creatures so now we're going to hop right into it and i'm going to start killing these revenants hopefully we end up getting some pretty great drops in this video because it is just going to be really exciting and hopefully we see a lot of unique ones and so right off the bat, we ended up getting our first unique drop. We are about 100 kills in. We got a Corrupt Dragon Square Shield. This is a really rare drop. I believe it's one in about every 30,000 kills. So it is a really rare drop. Unfortunately, it isn't worth very much, just around 60k. So we are going to continue killing these Revenants. Um, the strategy that I have been going with, um, I've mostly been killing the Revenant Dragon and the Revenant Dark Beast, but I am kind of just circling around uh, the dungeon and just killing most of the Revenants. So I'm back from my first trip, and as you can see, we got around 35k here. We got a Dragon Dagger, and then also some Bloodweed Seeds. So these are from the Wilderness Drop Table. They are worth around 50k, so that is pretty nice. Uh, the Dagger isn't worth much, but not too bad for the first trip. We currently have about 830 kills left. Um, so far, we have only gotten that Dragon Square Shield and this Dragon Dagger and Bloodweed Seed so far. So we're going to get back out there, hopefully get some more uniques. And so I did decide to switch to Legacy. I figured um, that it is actually better. And after testing it for a while, it does seem like it is uh, a bit easier to kill the Revenants because they heal less frequently, it seems. It seems like you can actually finish them off a lot quicker instead of having to use a combination of abilities to just finish off the revenant before it can heal um, because revenants they actually have 20 sort of food that they can heal with so it is a bit annoying you want to kind of just ko them um, with a big hit before they can actually heal up to about half health so that being said i think i am going to continue using legacy for the rest of this loot video so far it is going pretty well though, um, haven't got any more uniques yet, but I'm feeling like we are going to get pretty lucky soon. And we are about 335 kills in, we ended up getting our second unique drop, 
We got the Smithing Brawling Gloves. This is a really rare drop. We got it from the Revenant Orc. So the drop rate was about 1 in 45,000. That is really crazy, guys. This is actually probably my first Brawling Glove drop that I have ever received. Um, and they are actually pretty useful. They can give up to 400% bonus XP when training the skill in the wilderness. Um, so pretty unique drop there. And so we're just about 200 kills later. We ended up getting our next unique drop. We got the Third Age Karaf, which is not really that great. It only can sell for 10k to uh, one of the three people who buy the Ancient Artifacts. So not really a very exciting drop, but it is pretty rare. Um, and pretty unique to get. Hopefully we can actually end up completing a drop table here. I think that would be really, really cool. So it is just nice to have. And there we go, guys. We got our first real drop. We have about 300 kills left. And we got the Corrupt Vesta's Longsword. This sells for 800k. So it is a pretty solid drop. And it is the best one we have gotten so far. It is pretty crazy because this drop has the same drop rate as the Stasius Warhammer, which, as you guys saw, is listed at 69 mil. So, it is too bad we didn't get that drop instead, but I really can't complain. And so we just got another unique drop. We got the Corrupted Dragon Helm, and we have 160 kills left. This is also a really rare drop. Although, unfortunately, it isn't worth very much since it's just around 60k. Literally just a few kills later, I get another unique drop. I got the Revenant Spirit. This is the Revenant Pet Drop, so I am really excited for this. It doesn't really have a drop rate, but it does say it is very rare. So I am just really pleased with this. I'm just going to go check it out because I do really like getting pets. So this is going to be a really cool one. It's going to be a Revenant Imp. Um, so really great drop there, and I'm super happy about that. Look at this cute little guy. I'm definitely going to have him as my override for my familiars. Looks really sick. So you can actually get more of these and it will upgrade. So the first pet you get is the Revenant Imp. And then it goes to the Revenant Goblin and continues to move up until you get to the Revenant Dragon. And so each time you get the new Revenant pet, the chance of you getting the upgrade does become a bit harder. But... I am pretty pleased with my Revenant Imp. It looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to rock that for a little bit. And so back in the caves, we are killing some more Revenants. We have about 120 left, and we got another untradeable item. It's another artifact. So the Bando Scrimshaw, I believe it sells for around 50k, so nothing too special here. And another unique drop. We got the Ghost Hunter Leg. So this is actually a pretty awesome drop. I do have two of the ghost hunter equipment already so getting a third piece is pretty nice because when you have three pieces active it increases your damage on ghosts by 10 percent so that is going to be really awesome i believe it even works with spiritual mages and spiritual warriors so i can definitely use it in my player owned slayer dungeon when fighting them so it is a really useful item to get so i'm really pleased about that as well so far it's probably my second favorite drop i got so far right behind the Revenant Imp. And we have about 100 kills left. We've been getting a ton of uniques in the last few kills. So let's see if we can keep that up for the last 100 kills. And so guys, it's literally been 20 kills later. We got another unique drop. We got the Corrupt Dragon Mace. This again is a really rare drop. It is a little bit disappointing that we're getting so many Corrupt Dragon items instead of getting more Ancient Warriors equipment since that's the stuff that is actually worth a lot. And so we're here on our last kill. It looks like that was it for the unique drops unless we get one here. But so far it has been a pretty fun time killing Revenants. Haven't ran into any PKers so that is something that has been sort of surprising. I was expecting to get PK'd once or twice but... Haven't even ran into any and got a ton of unique drops. So now we're going to look at the total loot that I got from all these drops. So we did get these two untradeable items. Um, we got a ton of Corrupt Dragon items, which is pretty cool, but they're not worth much. Then we got the Corrupt Vesta's Longsword worth 800k. Also 100k in coins. And as you can see, the Bloodweed Seeds, they were around 350k since we got seven of those. So around 1.5 mil. This took around three to four hours, 
to complete. So definitely not great GP per hour. But again, we didn't get a lot of the good items. We kind of got some trash items, a lot of them. Uh, and especially getting all the corrupt dragon items and not many of the ancient warriors equipment. Overall though, I gotta say this was a really fun video to make. Especially since I didn't run it into any PKers. That would have made it a lot worse. But um, it was pretty casual just killing some revenants while I was just multitasking and doing some other things. That was really nice. Um, it's pretty cool to get some of these unique drops. If you guys do like this video, make sure you do hit that thumbs up button because I would consider making another one of these just because it was so much fun. Um, so let's say if we can get to 200 likes, I will make another one of these videos, possibly even a revenant hunting series. I think that would be pretty cool. And it has been something that I have thought about in the past. Um, so yeah, hit the thumbs up button if you did like this video and I will come out with another one possibly. Um, also subscribe for lots of RuneScape 3 content. Archaeology is coming out in about a week and a half. So that is going to be a lot of fun and a lot of new content coming into the game. And I'm going to be going over a lot of that as soon as it is released. So definitely subscribe for that. Uh, anyway, you guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.